C8 Pay, back at you again with another video. In today's video, I want, I'm gonna let y'all check out um, one of the ugliest speaker setups that I've ever seen on a Riker. We're gonna check one out right now. We, we gonna, I'm gonna show y'all, I'm into these trends now, right? And showing y'all stuff that y'all should not do or put on your bike. Okay. So, somebody decided to go with these speakers right here on the side of theirs, right? I'm here at the dealer. I'm picking up my 2019. Um, something came through for me and they, they worked some things out. Look what I'm saying. This is what I'm talking about, man. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button right now. But this is what I'm talking about right here. Look how this looks from the front. These are the do's and don'ts. This is called the don't. Do not do this to your bike. Look how it looks like. Look. Looks like, well, look what it looks like on the inside of there. Look how, come on, man. Who, who in the hell, get in the comment section right now and let me know if you agree with me that this just looks absolutely retarded. This just looks retar retarded. Nah, man, that, that, that right there, that ain't it. If you agree with me, get in the comment section right now. What's the name of this company? You did your uh-uh. And it might be loud. You never know. I bet you it's loud. <laughs> it's probably not even loud. Because if you look at it, not, I, I just, I'm just in disbelief. Who would do that to their bike, man? Who? Who does this? <sighs> Let's check out something else. Let's check out another one that's up here. I, I just don't believe what I'm looking at. Let's check out another one, man. I'll be right back in a second. So you see this, this is up here as well. You know what y'all think about that one. I can get the pricing for you if you want it. Uh, they got this windshield on here. I don't like that windshield that much. Um, they got this one up here as well. Man, I can tell some of the things. I wouldn't even put this on here. This is, I wouldn't even put that on there. I think that is just a complete waste of time. This little bag on the back of there. But who am I? Teach us on. Let's go check mine out. Let's go check mine out and see what's going on with mine today. See if we can roll on out of here in it. Yep, so we up here at the dealer and Things are somewhat okay, but one thing I don't like is this damage that's right here on the bumper. Obviously somebody hit something or did something that was not me. My bumper, when I dropped this bike, when I dropped it off, that bumper did not have that damage. I just explained that to him. So we're gonna see what we're gonna do about that, but that's like not no little nick or whatever. I mean, if I'm a, I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so back at you. Um, so we're gonna talk to the manager tomorrow about this little situation we got going on. This was not like this when I dropped the bike off, but picked the bike up, got this going on. Um, that's why it's best to take pictures of your bike when you drop it off. You should take pictures of your bike and look your bike over, give it a good, good once over once you pick it up. So when I picked it up today, none of the lights were working. Well, some of the lights weren't working. Um, the radio wasn't working. It was just a lot of stuff that they hadn't buttoned up. And then this big, nice little was sitting right there they know they did it they're gonna talk to the manager they were trying to talk to me about uh buffing that out and painting it or possibly getting a brand new one get in the comment section what do you guys think should i let them go ahead and buff it out and paint it or should i make them just buy a brand new one for the 400 and whatever it is 430 450 whatever the price is but you got a bike, you got a problem. It is what it is. I'm out of here. See you guys tomorrow. Doing another video. Had some fun today. Until next time, my friends. C8 Pate out.